bumper right here and then we got the fenders over here brand new fenders no more bacon fenders cut all these little knobs off so that it don't rub on my tire and then pull this these fenders a little bit let's get this whole thing wiped down clean no dust and then start spraying This is first coat. You can't be too heavy on it. You gotta go real light. Let that dry up a little bit. I'm gonna go spray it on the fenders. And um, yeah, I can coat a primer on both fenders and the bumper. So, so far so good. But third coat is on. Just gotta let it dry and then we'll start painting. All right guys, so I just mocked up everything and look at this. Definitely. It will be done, I promise. All right guys, so while the fenders and the bumpers drying up in the back, I'm gonna start taking the fender off. If I get this fender off, all I have to do is slap the new one on once it's dry. So I'm gonna take these fender off. I'm gonna take both these fenders off right now. Okay guys, so there's a lot more I really have to do. The bumper is drying up right now, so I'm just gonna bang all of this shit out. I'm gonna uh, go grab my grinder from Quasi and cut all this out so that when the car the, the wheel goes up it won't bottom out on this so that's the goal for right now guys and right now we're waiting on the bumper to dry up so after all this is done then we could slap the new fenders on etc etc fenders are off and the bumpers are drying, the bumper is drying, the other fenders are drying. So whenever those are dry, I should be slapping them on the car. All right, so that's all we really have left to do is to throw the new fenders and the bumper on. I gotta put the fog lights in, I gotta put the underglow on. I have to put the whole car back together. However, I won't be recording it. If you guys made it to the end of this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, don't forget to give this video a fat thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.